Cliff, how would you define this season for the Cardinals? Progress. Um, obviously, it didn't end the way we wanted to. That was disappointing, but um, made some steps in the right direction. We just have to continue to work, continue to get better. Cliff, now that now that it's over, can you can you give us a rundown on how bad Kyler's ankle and and leg were, and if anyone else or anyone will need surgery after the season? Yeah, it doesn't appear um, that he'll need surgery. Um, you know, he was limping around today when I saw him in the building, and so I definitely know that it was uh, it was uh, affecting him yesterday. And so hopefully he'll heal up quickly and um, be feeling better soon. Does anyone else need surgery, though? Uh, nobody after yesterday. Hey, Cliff, I, I know when you're trying to build, like, the culture of a program that that's sort of a, you know, a, a difficult concept as far as, as all that. Are, are you comfortable with, with how this team reacts in, in pressure situations, you know, playoff style games like the last couple weeks and how do you go about if, if you do think there needs to be changes changing that or do you feel comfortable with with where the team is in regards to that kind of stuff I think they're all learning experiences and, and um, as a staff and as players um, we have to get better in, in those moments and in those opportunities there's no question uh, we, we all know we had two opportunities late in the last two games to to uh you know, have a chance to make the playoffs, and we didn't take advantage of them. And th those are things we got to work on and work through, and, and you learn, you know, through some of your failures. Next up, Josh, Kyle, and Craig. Hey, Cliff, what specific things needs to change next year to avoid kind of that, that, that nosedive that you guys had this year? I just have to get better overall. Um, you know, there, there's no secret to that. We got to work harder and uh, continue to, to build this thing the right way. I said it to start this deal off. I mean, there was progress made. Uh, we were a better team. We were more competitive, but we definitely left a lot out there. And, and that's on us as coaches and players to take the necessary steps and, and um, work at it to, to be better moving forward. Cliff, it seems like from a roster composition standpoint, cornerback is the biggest question looking at free agents. Would you like Patrick to come back? And how do you view that group overall with so many guys going to free agency and really only Byron under contract? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's only been, I think, 24 hours since the last game. So we're evaluating everything. I love Patrick Peterson. He knows that. Um, and we'll see where, where that all goes. But every year you're going to have positional needs, things that, that come up um, that is viewed as, as more important than, than others in different positions. And uh, we'll address all that moving forward uh, this offseason. Hey Cliff, I know it's a level playing field across the league, but in hindsight now, how much did COVID and the lack of OTAs and mini camps and the on-field work affect you guys heading into your second season and what you needed to get done? Yeah, you, you said it, it. Everybody dealt with the same um, issues. Um, would have been nice to, to be able to have you know your quarterback going into year two um, with DeAndre. I mean, some of those those things uh, would have been nice to, to work on on some of their um, relationship on the field, but everybody had the same setup, and um, I thought our guys, you know, handled it as well as they could as far as um, dealing with protocols and, and powering through everything that was asked of them. And we just weren't able to, to close the deal at the end of the year. Next up, Mark, Mike, and Catherine. Hey, Cliff, when do you expect to have a decision about Larry Fitzgerald's future, and how much do you lobby him to come back? Yeah, I talked to him today, and um, it'll it'll be a while before anybody knows. I mean, he's got a lot to, to think about. We all want him back. He knows that, that we all um, know he can still be a force on the field when he's feeling good and healthy and um, doing what he can do. And so I'm not sure of the exact timetable, but uh, I mean, he's one of the best to ever play and still can play at an incredibly high level, and, and you know, we want him back. Cliff, when it comes to the offseason, there hasn't been uh, any news. Do you guys just plan accordingly for po possibly a normal offseason, or is that something you'll learn over the next couple of weeks? We're hopeful that we'll learn uh, you know, more what, what it's going to look like moving forward. We, we really don't have 
much knowledge on it right now, but it, it'll be, uh, I'm sure it'll appear different than it has in, in previous years and we'll adjust accordingly. Cliff, what's the status of kicker moving forward? Did Mike do anything to change that conversation around Zane? And then separately, um, did you get any clarity on any of those PI calls, the one against DeAndre yesterday and the one that was not called in the end zone? Yeah, no, I didn't have any clarity on those calls yet. Um, we always submit those plays and, and we'll get those responses back. But those were obviously tough, tough plays um, in that game. Um, and as far as the kicker, you know, we've said it along. We, we, we uh, like Zane, have a lot of faith in Zane, and, and we're still evaluating all things um, moving forward. We'll wrap it up with four more, Darren and Kevin, Bob and Josh. Hey Cliff, um, is, is, do you anticipate your coaching staff returning intact, whether there be other opportunities or anything like that? Do you know that yet? I don't, I don't. Same, kind of the same answer. I mean, we're, we're just 24 hours since that game and, and um, we're still evaluating a lot of things. Hey Cliff, obviously Kenyon fell a little short of a thousand yards. What did you think about his season as a whole um, and just obviously him going into free agency, what his future would be like, uh, whether you want him back there or not? Yeah, I think since he's been here uh, the past two seasons, he's done a tremendous job, um, has been durable and, and healthy and, and brings explosiveness to that position. And so. Um, have been really impressed with Kenyon and what he's brought. He's been productive and um, scored a bunch of touchdowns for us. And so we'll see kind of where, where that thing plays out. Cliff, what do you think it's going to be like when you break down the season with Steve and Michael? What's that going to be like for you? Yeah, it's always, um, you know, a learning experience. You're, you're, you're trying to figure out ways to get better. All of us are. Um, you know, when we talk with Steve and, and Michael, where, where do we see this heading? What do we need to do to get better? And what do we need to do to get there? You, 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 you know, try to take advice from those guys. And, and um, they've been in this a lot longer than I have when it comes to the NFL. And so we'll try to put a plan in place that sets this place to, to take another step next year like we did this year. Hey, Cliff, uh, two questions for you. First is, why do you think the bye was an issue again this season? And how do you fix that? And the second question is, where do you want to see Kyler and DeAndre kind of improve on their relationship heading into next season? Yeah, as far as the bye goes, I, I don't have an answer there. That's something we got to continue to look at schedule-wise and figure out how we can come out of that and play play better football moving forward. And then uh, with Kyler and DeAndre, it's just time on task. I think the more that they're able to just throw and, and get a feel for each other, um, the better we're going to be. I mean, they're, they're very productive for, for this year. Um, particularly in the circumstances that, that kind of surrounded it. But those two guys are very competitive. They, they know that they can play at a higher level together and they want to take it there.